I think what everybody notices the very first thing you get out of your car on the Oregon coast is you get blasted by the wind and it's incessant. Summertime, the winds swing around and blow from the north to the south, what we call the spring transition. It's really the start of the summer season and the growing season in the ocean. And that lasts pretty steady until early fall. And I always joke you can set your watch because on October 15th, that pattern switches and the rains start. As the wind blows over the ocean, of course it causes waves. The waves get bigger and bigger and break into white caps. But it also causes ocean currents. The currents can have structure. There can be eddies and swirls and interactions with the seafloor. So as annoying as that constant wind is out of the north during the summer, what it's doing is it's pushing that surface layer of the ocean offshore to the west upwells the deeper waters with those all-important nutrients. So it's the fertilizer that has to come up and help the phytoplankton grow. And that really is the base of the whole food web. I can tell whether it's gonna be a good upwelling year or a good production year in the ocean just by the wind. When I'm there and that wind's blowing, I go, aha, things are normal, things are good. 